So I've been asked, as a football referee, what do I take to a match in my bag? Stick with me to find out. So first of all, yeah, that's the bag. Nothing exciting, just a Puma bag. Now, we're gonna start with the clothing. Now, standard with football, uh, a lot of the UK um, football scene is Nike. So, Nike shorts, not very exciting, just black. That fell on the floor. Um, now, I've got some different varieties, uh, but this is this is my uh, long sleeve. Uh, a lot of football is in the winter months, so it's quite useful to have um, long sleeves. And I, and I always um, take with me a base layer as well. Also, black socks. Now, I think Nike socks are horrible and they are dreadful to try and pull up. So I always go with the Somnico ones. They're cheap, they're stretchy, nice and easy to get up. So there's the clothing. Oh, I'm a wimp. I hate the cold pair of gloves. There is nothing worse when you're refereeing and you have to book someone and you can't feel your fingers to put their name in the book. So that's that. Now, um, we also have, normally I have a towel for a shower afterwards. Zingy, zesty lemon, shower gel, deodorant. Yes, it is, it is girls deodorant. Girls deodorant is the best deodorant. Okay, that's one thing. I also take, just in case, deep heat. Oh, that stinks. Deep heat, is there anything worse smelling than deep heat? I just remember, I remember watching my uncle play football years ago um, and going into the change rooms and the stench, the stench of deep heat is insane. So there are a few of those things. Now what we have to do as well is during um, some games, you have to have the league badge on your chest um, or you would have uh, the Hampshire badge. I'm Hampshire County, uh, Hampshire County, so you'd have the Hampshire badge. Um, Double-sided tape. Stick that on. There we go. So that is there. Now I take with me a lunchbox, and that has got all my stuff that I need. Okay. So in the box. All right, that is where I put, oh, in there is the sin bins. You won't be able to see, oh yeah, you might be able to see. There is my sin bins to remind me. They haven't been around long. Um, so sometimes if I give out lots of sin bins, not that I normally do, but there's a little handy reminder in the book. So I remember, oh, that player's not allowed back on, for example. Um, so I've got that, that's my cards. I've got nice thick, thick plastic cards. I like thick plastic, that's good. So we've got that. Now to go in the book, you've got a couple of sheets. Now that one, that one's just a standard one. However, because sin bins have been introduced at the lower levels, we've got a special card that allows for sin bins. So you can record sin bins. So we've got loads and loads of sheets, loads of sheets of them. Okay, and before the game, you would put, um, you'd put the teams, uh, you would put the colours, the captains possibly, the names of the players. Sometimes if it's a lower level you don't bother with the name of the players. You just take their names if, if they get booked or sent off or simbined. So that's that. Now, essential bit of kit. Always have more than one. Pens. Gotta have more than one pen. I use pens. Some referees use pencils. I prefer pens because um, they're easier to see. So that's that. What else is in my bag? Now, I also have one watch. That one's, a, this one's a special one because it records up and down. You can stop the watch. Um, if 
you stop it and you don't restart, it will beep at you every 10 seconds. So that's a bit annoying. I have another watch. Nice, easy Casio. I've got another watch just in case, another Casio. <laughs> so I've got watches. You should always have two watches because if you only have one and the time stops or the battery goes or something happens to it, you've always got a second one um, just in case. Now, um, I am an asthmatic, so before the game, I have a puff of the inhaler. Now, it's not something I need necessarily. It just gives me that reassurance that I will be fine for the game. Just a quick puff. So that is essential. You might find me weird. If You might find me weird, but I also have lip balm. When you're running around, when you are running around and your lips get dry, bit of lip balm. I don't often take it out with me. I normally put a little bit on before the game. Says that. Pressure gauge. The amount of times. Now, yes, granted, you can you can feel a ball and you can squeeze it and see if it's hard enough. Um, but I like to have the same all the time. So, pressure gauge. I use 0.8, 0.8 on the uh, on the pressure gauge. Check that the ball's pumped up. You wouldn't believe how many balls are half half inflated. Unbelievable. Um, another thing I have. I use finger whistles. They're both, I think they're both Fox 40. Oh no, this one's a Fox 40. And this one is a Tornado 2000, an Acne Tornado 2000. Now I prefer, I prefer finger whistles. So a lot of referees will have a whistle dangling on a lanyard off their wrist. Now I find it a lot easier if I can put it on my finger, put my hand straight to my mouth, I've tried lanyards, and the problem with lanyards is you 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 let go of it, your your whistle's you know hanging down, and you've kind of got to grab hold of it, then put it to your mouth. So that is why I prefer. And my current one I am using is the Fox Forty. Okay, it's quite a sharp sharp loud noise. So if a player annoys you during the game, just uh, conveniently go next to him and and blow your whistle. Not that I do that, of course. Not that I do that. Um, now, that is basically what's in there. However, I've got another few bits. Now, um, as... Flags. Got to have flags. Um, so I take flags. I've got two, two different sets. I have got these. These are just standard basic ones. Uh, these are the cheap ones that anyone can use. I don't mind anyone using them. Um, but... I also have a set of, oh, turn it that way. I also have a set of ref calls. Now these are the cheaper version and I got given these many years ago. Um, the good thing about these are that they are buzzers. They're the, they're, they're the only, they're only the cheaper version. So you have a little device. Um, you'll see this at the top levels. You have a little device, battery goes in, you stick that on your arm, okay? You stick that on the arm and then you have you know, let's put them across um, and then on here you have buzzers that go in so these work via battery so guess what I have plenty of also batteries plenty of batteries the amount of time these have run out when I've used them uh, batteries that go in my my little um, my little case um, so those are some of the things but there's another couple on the floor boots they are a bit dirty underneath. Uh, boots, they need to clean. Don't judge me, okay? If anyone's watching from the FA, FA, then don't don't tell on me. Um, black boots, black boots. You know, as a referee, we don't have fancy, fancy colored boots. We have black boots. Everything is the same color. So as you see, black socks, black top, black shorts. Um, even my gloves I have are black. Um, because it's we're setting an example at the end of the day you know we don't want players wearing silly all these different colors this is what annoys me about um, the people wearing so different color sock tape and cutting the socks and having it doesn't make sense you know we're setting the example that, that we wear the proper equipment and therefore if we want to say um, to a player look can you please make sure you're wearing the right clothing 
then you know at least we can say well you know we we are so why can't you we're a part of the game and also whistle uh, whistle that's not even a whistle what am I talking about um, <laughs> football pump um, this is an easy one I've got I've, I've got a little um, portable electric one as well which is quite cool um, does the job a little bit easier because when you've got a load of footballs and they're all flat it can ache your arm um, so I think that's everything um, that's everything there might be a few other bits that other people take with them um, I know some might take some sugary sweets uh, quite often if you're if I'm on the line for someone some of the referees will will bring um, some jelly babies for example that's always quite exciting uh, make sure you've got a drink you know maybe something like a LucasAid or even just water keep yourself hydrated and I think that's it um, I don't think I've missed anything but if there's anything different that you take, if you're a football referee, or um, I know I know I've got a couple of my subscribers are rugby referees. If you're a referee from another sport, is there anything different that you would take to a match? I don't think there's anything I've missed off. Um, so yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Is there anything that you think is uh, I don't need? Maybe I don't need uh, lip balm. Maybe that's just me that takes it. Um, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed. It's a little bit different, uh, the style of video, um, but you guys wanted to know. I'm happy to answer. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little ding dong bell as well. I'll see you next time.